Hey, what is going on guys? Jason here from jasonbrock.com and uh, I want to make a new type of video today. Uh, many of you guys watching this right now primarily know me from my Kindle publishing videos, but this channel is more than just Kindle publishing. I'm going to still be continuing to post tons and tons of new content on Kindle publishing. It's going to help you make more money in that realm. However, uh, many of you may or may not know that I got my start making money online creating just very basic, simple e-commerce websites that utilize drop shipping. And I'm not going to go f super in depth on uh, the ins and outs of drop shipping and all of that stuff. That will come in some later videos. Uh, what this video series is going to be is a case study. It's a case study of me building a website, an e-commerce website from zero to hopefully a lot of money every single month and year uh, from scratch. I'm going to uh, show you guys here in a second. I'm going to take you behind the screen and uh, kind of give you an over the shoulder look on exactly how I'm going to build this website. I've already got it set up, um, at least the nuts and bolts of it. I haven't added any products, but it's going to be uh, an evolving series. So an indefinite evolving series as the site progresses, as I add more things, add more products, make sales, hopefully um, uh, you're going to take that journey with me. And uh, it's going to be an exciting ride. And uh, the whole purpose of this video is to uh, show you guys how it is uh, very simple, very easy, not that hard to do to find some very reputable drop shippers to work with, create a website. I use Shopify. There's a link. It is an affiliate link, but I love these guys. I use them in the description below uh, where you can go ahead and get your Shopify website set up. But I use them for, um, I've got like four or five, I forget how many I have right now at, the, at this time, e-commerce websites running right now. And uh, all but one are on Shopify. And the only reason I haven't switched the other one over to Shopify is simply due to the fact that it, it requires a lot of uh, work to do. And I'm just going to let that one ride uh, where it is at. And that one's on Volusion, which they're good as well. Anyway, so point being, I'm going to show you guys how... I'm going to do it and uh, I'm not going to, you know, sugarcoat anything. If, if I'm not making any sales or anything like that, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to be giving you updates. But right now it's phase number one. Uh, what does phase one consist of? Phase one is you know, getting the domain, which I've got, getting the website um, up and running on whatever platform you're using. In this case, I'm using Shopify. And then it's about adding the products, um, you know, analyzing the competition, which you'll see me do here shortly and uh, really just going from there. Um, and then we'll go into phase two, three, four, and five and uh, really just roll this out and uh, hopefully we'll both, uh, all of us will get some success out of this. So uh, I thank you guys for watching this. I'm gonna jump here behind the computer screen and show you guys um, sort of what I've got right now. And uh, I thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm getting back in the swing of things. I'll be always responding to your comments and uh, thank you guys so much and we'll see you guys behind the screen. What's going on guys? Jason back here behind the computer screen and you guys are in the Shopify admin panel of my new website bladebay.com. So uh, I'm going to give you guys a just an over the shoulder look at exactly what I do when I start a website up. Now, it's going to be a fluff-free video. I'm not going to go into a bunch of background or anything like that. I'm just going to get, give you guys uh, exactly what you're going to need to know in order to get an, a website, an e-commerce website up and running. I am going to give you right now a little bit of background on how I got into e-commerce and why I believe it is a, a great passive income source for anybody watching this video right now. So I got into e-commerce in 2007 uh, because my friend's dad was uh, having some success on eBay. Um, he ran a website and I mean, he wasn't setting the world on fire or anything, but he was working from home and uh, he was making money around the clock, which that appealed to me very, uh, very much. So I started a website. Uh, I got a, uh, a wild hair up my ass one day and I decided I'm going to 
uh, start an e-commerce website. So I got, um, he put me on to a company that would drop ship for me. And I created this website in around a weekend. It probably took me two to three days from start to finish. I took massive action and I, I really just really threw caution to the wind. I locked myself in my apartment and I just went to work. I hand coded the entire thing on HTML, which I'm not a very technical person, uh, but I figured it out. It was a very crude website and um, I really forgot about it. Uh, within, in fact, two weeks went by and uh, I didn't even really think about it that much, maybe a couple of times. And then I got an email from someone and uh, they are inquiring about my product. And uh, I, you know, I said, hey, you know, it's a great product. And they bought it. And then uh, the orders began to trickle in. And then uh, more and more uh, throughout the years, it began to become a just a great passive income source. So uh, that is my real brief basic story on how I got started. Um, to this day, I have three stores that are running right now. This will be my fourth. And um, they, again, uh, I, I cannot talk highly enough about them. Now, a lot of you are probably familiar with uh, Amazon FBA. Um, a lot of people are getting into that nowadays, and that is a great opportunity as well. What I'm going to be covering is not Amazon FBA. It is going to be completely about creating a, a website that is all, all your own, you know, and so a lot of people, you know, they have problems with Amazon, they have problems with eBay, they have problems with other sources just due to the fact that, you know, they are your, your, your gateway. You don't own your product. I mean, you, you know, I shouldn't say that you, you don't own your store. You don't own Amazon. You don't own eBay, right? So, um, with my websites, I own them. I can do whatever the heck I want with them. I can sell them. I can keep them. I can update them. I can you know, change the domain. I can add products. I mean, I'm not really, you know, worried about someone getting upset at me and writing a bad review. You know, I control every single aspect of my website from the top down. So I like that about it. It's been the most consistent thing I've ever done in uh, the online passive income stream. You know, I love Kindle Publishing. And if you're watching this video, I, I still am going to be doing Kindle Publishing. In fact, there's even ways to tie both of these together, which we will talk about. But um, it's a great passive income stream to have in your arsenal. But so is this. And so um, I recommend you guys, um, you know, jump on and get a free trial. As you can see, I'm on a free trial right now on Shopify. They give you, I think, two weeks. And you can start adding products to your store. You can get really familiar with uh, the admin panel, the back end, and really kind of dig into it and chew on it and see if you like them. Again, there's a lot of other ones out there, and I've tried a bunch of them. I've tried Big Commerce. I've had a store in Big Commerce, Yahoo. I've got currently one on Volusion, and I've moved all of them over. Uh, every every website that I have is on Shopify except for one. Like I mentioned before, it's on Volusion, which they're good, but Shopify, in my opinion, is the way to go. And so uh, you can see they give you uh, 14 days to get everything going. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, select the plan here um, w once we get off this, you know, once I get off this recording and really start going after it. But you can, you know, get 14 days to get familiar with it. I just wanted to get this up. Anyway, so let's talk about what I'm actually doing. Um, my website is going to be called Blade bay.com now blade bay is going to cater to anybody who wants to get a survival knife an outdoorsman uh, it's going to be a, a preppers type of website people who are into everyday carry people are who are into you know the survival lifestyle very burgeoning up and coming community um, and uh, I'm really excited to be a part of it so um, I did a lot of research to uh, you know kind of get into where I'm at right now at this point and I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I how I do my research, how I find my products, how I how I do that really briefly. Now I'm going to go into the in some further videos. I'm going to really show you how to dig down, but in this video I'm going to scratch the surface and show you kind of where uh, you can find products and, and find reputable drop shippers. So um, that is uh, that is kind of where we're going to go in the future. And again, this this series, this this case study of me uh, starting a website from scratch is, uh, you know, obviously it's going to help me because hopefully I'm going to create a, a successful website that's going to make me money. 
but it's also going to show you guys exactly because there's nobody doing this. There's nobody on YouTube that's going to show you this, right? It's going to show you exactly how to do it as well. So as you can see, uh, I've already selected a theme, and I uh, I selected a premium Shopify theme. So yeah, uh, let's get back on here. Um, so the first thing you do is you sign up for Shopify, you get the free trial, and uh, you can use their basic free themes, which they're really good as well. But I invested $150 and I picked up this theme right here, which is called, uh, you know, Coyote, I believe, or Masonry. And it's really, you know, geared to outdoorsmen and, you know, things like that. Um, you can see a demo, um, kind of what my website will look like. You know, so it's very professional looking, and the reason a lot of you'll see a lot of websites are using the uh, the top down navigation. For this website, I'm going to use a sidebar because I'm going to have a lot of products. As you can see, I've got a few already that I'm going to be doing um, knife accessories, knives, outdoor, you know, multi tools. You, you'll be seeing a lot of products added to this website here in the future. But I'm going to be adding a bunch more. This is going to be all the way down here. I want to give, I want to have customers, you know, have a ton of options, I'll have a ton of products, um, and I'll go into the reason why I'm going to be doing that. But um, it's mobile friendly, which is cool. Now, if you guys aren't familiar, like people are buying a bunch of stuff mobily nowadays. Okay, so if your website is not mobily friendly or mobile friendly, uh, you gotta you gotta get it back on point because Google they love mobile friendly websites. In fact, one of my websites I was using uh, on Volusion, I paid a lot of money for a premium theme like two years ago, and uh, it wasn't even mobile friendly. So. Uh, Google is sending me messages like, "Hey, what's up? You know, we want you to we want you to get your website up to being mobile friendly." So I had to like buy a, or I didn't even buy one. I just got a free one, but um, you know, on Volusion. But that's neither here nor there. Anyway, so um, we've got our theme here, and you, as you can see, my theme will be looking similar. They actually give you what's cool is uh, if you use like this theme, uh, you have a couple of different things like it. You have four styles. So I'm using mine's geared again towards this blade bay, it's knives and stuff. It's more towards the outdoors lifestyle. But I mean, if you were doing like a fashion theme or something, um, you could even use something. I, I have access to this template, which is a more clean, you know, kind of a white sidebar. And I might even do something like that. As you can see, it has a carousel, carousel here, which is just like a kind of a sliding thing with you know images and stuff like that so you know kind of gives shoppers a, a bold image on exactly what you are selling so um that is that is it for the theme as you can see this will change I, I threw a couple products that i sell up here um i need to get a logo designed uh which is in the works um i need to um well, let me tell you a funny story while we're on it this guy right here uh he's a really good photographer um, God dang, I can't even get back to this guy right here, this, this image, um, he's, <laughs> I hired this guy, I think I paid him $50 to take a, this picture or something, something crazy, uh, you know, next thing I know, I'm, I'm on Facebook and this guy's like doing image or doing photos out in LA for like Kevin Hart and like Will Ferrell and I think, uh, who else did he do something for, um, a really popular band, I mean, uh, Travis Barker, those guys, I mean, so, it's really cool to see people that you started working with and uh, how much, you know, they're passionate. And this guy was really passionate about photography. So that image will probably stay. <laughs> and so, um, so that's it guys. I mean, really, um, there's not much to it. You get on here, you set up your Shopify, you know, free store. You start, as you can see, you can, you know, if I wanted to add products, you know, I could, it's very easy you know, knife, here is a knife, you know, and uh, blah, 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 you know, I'd add images and this and that. Um, I save the product and I would add it into, let's see, where would I even put my, I want to put this, yeah, so you got your SEO, things like that, so, I mean, you know, I've added my first product. I want to put this under a category. Uh, where do I do that at here? Um, geez. Oh, right here. So right now that would go on the front page. We're just going to put it under knives. And I could have it on the front page too if I want. So, I mean, you would have an image of a knife. 
So uh, we're not going to mess with that right now because I don't have anything. Uh, but let's see what it looks like. Go back to my home page, view my store. And as you can see now underneath there would, would be an image of that. So it, it's going to look really sharp, really cool uh, once I get it done. In fact, let me see. Yep, it should be here. And then, you know, I put all my description. So, and, you know, you got Facebook stuff. What's cool also about Shopify that I really love is you have apps. And there's tons of, they have an app store that you get a lot of free stuff. It's a lot of free apps that you can use to uh, put on your website. One of the ones that I love is the uh, shopping cart abandonment protector. So what happens is a lot of times people will go on your website, they'll add a bunch of stuff to the cart, and they'll just like abandon the cart for whatever reason. It doesn't, I, I, God, I mean, who knows? Maybe the prices are too high. Maybe they just forgot about it. Maybe they were just window shopping. But what this app does is it, it sends them hey, an email that says, hey, let's say a guy's name's Joe. Hey, Joe, why the heck did you abandon this shopping cart? And here's a discount code or here's something. So really cool stuff. It saved me and it, it'll show you on one of my stores. It saved me like, like three grand and made me like three or four grand just in saved shopping carts over the uh, entire year. So I'm really digging that. So uh, what is next? Well, how do I find all of the products that I'm going to find? I use this website right here. Uh, we're going to go back to the directory home. It's called Worldwide Brands. And I believe I paid... I think I paid a hundred dollars, like I would say in 2009, maybe in 2008 when I first got started for like a lifetime membership to their, um, wholesale directory. And, uh, it was money really well spent because I, um, I, and they've got other products and other services they sell. All I do is, um, all I'm a member is of this list right here. So let's say I wanted to find like, you know, knives, right? Which is what I'm going to be doing. So I just go in here, I'd search for knives and I'm going to go for drop shippers only. And the reason that I go for drop shippers only is because um, I don't want to stock any product. So a drop shipper, if you guys are not familiar, is just a company that is uh, a, usually a warehouse, usually uh, a big warehouse here in the States or Canada or wherever. And um, they supply your customers with the product. So you sell them. And then you contact the drop shipper, which let's say we're using Parker River Knife. I would send them an email or use whatever order form they have and put my customer's information and then they would send that product to my customer. That is a business model that I love to use. Similar to FBA where people send stuff to Amazon and then they fulfill it. It's really the same thing. Parker River Knife, for example, would, would send products to my customers, knives, custom knives, whatever I, you know, if I was uh, under them or if I was, um, you know, linked up with them, they would do that. Now, there's a ton of ways you guys can go with this, okay? Now, you can get a ton of drop shippers and manage a ton of these, or what I like to do is find like one or two companies that have a really great program, that have a ton of products, a wide variety, and just use them. Um, I don't like to have 15 different drop shippers I'm working with. I like to have one or two because I outsource all my order fulfillment and stuff like that. I don't really like doing it myself. It saves me a bunch of time. Um, so I like to use one or two different people, right? And, and, you know, you guys can do whatever you want. And there's so many products. I mean, like if you wanted to look at like makeup, it will say you wanted to do a uh, an e-commerce website that was strictly for makeup, okay? Well, there's tons of suppliers that can can do that as well, you know? And what's cool is... Uh, Worldwide Brands is a company that vets all of these companies. So these companies will say, I want to be in your directory. Well, Worldwide Brands checks them out and they say, are you actually the person that has this? Are you a middleman or who are you? Are you the supplier? I mean, they, they send them through you know the rigors to make sure that they are reputable, to make sure that they are going to do you right. So I found really, really good um, wholesalers and drop shippers off of this list. In fact, this is the only service that I use. I know there's other ones out there, um, but I feel like this one is really all you need. And they offer other services as well. I mean, there's a ton of other things that they sell or they can you can get on their website. So definitely check them out. Uh, you should be able to build a store on this website, uh, no problem at all. Just finding products on this website to supply yourself. So that is where I do it. Now, the next thing I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to give you a preview of uh, the next video, we're going to be going into sort of a SWOT analysis. Uh, I'm going to be going into the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats 
of the knife business, of blade based competition. You know, who, you know, what, are, what are my strengths? What, you know, what do I bring to the table? What do I know? What are some of my weaknesses? What are some opportunities? What are some of my competition, you know, uh, not capitalizing on? Or what are some threats that might potentially uh, be there for my business? So I do that in every business that I start. So you'll see some more products on here. I'm going to go in there and actually pick a plan. I'm going to um, get that rolling. Start adding a bunch of products, doing descriptions, dialing in my logo, my carousel, making my website look really clean. And we're going to be going into a lot of different things. So over the next couple months, um, you'll see this website go from absolutely nothing to, you know, Lord willing, getting some sales and bringing in me some revenue. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoy this series. Give it a like or a thumbs up or, you know, leave a comment to let me know if you guys want to continue to see this type of stuff. If you don't, by all means, uh, I won't waste your time. Um, and uh, if you do, let me know because I'll keep making these and you guys can follow along with me on this journey. And, you know, get on this journey yourself because I'm not doing this just for me. I want to see you guys be successful. I want to see you guys say, hey, and I've had a lot of people email me and say, hey, man, thank you for, you know, your videos. But I want to see, say, hey, Jason, you know, thanks, man. I got this e-commerce website up and I'm, I'm making, you know, five, six grand a month. Um, so it can it can be done. A lot of people have done it. Um, it's just a matter of how hard do you want to work? How much do you want to put in? So uh, thanks, guys. I appreciate you guys. Uh, checking the channel out. As always, drop me a comment. I'm going to be getting to all of them and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.